OK, so anyway, let's do the normal thing. So we'll set y equal to the sum as n goes to infinity of 8 sub n x to the n. And then we have y prime is the sum as n goes from 1 to infinity of n uh, times a sub n times x to the n minus 1. And then we'll have y double prime is the sum as n goes from 2 to infinity of n times n minus 1 times a n times x to the n minus 2, right? So that's just like the starting point for all of these things, right? Okay. So now let's chuck all of those into the differential equation. So we've got y double prime minus 2xy prime plus 2 alpha y. So let's see. We'll write our y double prime down first. So that's going to be the sum as n goes from 2 to infinity of n times n minus 1 times a n x to the n minus 2. And then we'll have minus the sum as n goes from 1 to infinity. Let's multiply this 2x into this y prime. So that's going to give us a 2 here. We have 2n, a sub n. And then the x is going to boost to this n minus 1 up to an n, right? 2 alpha a n x to the n. And we want this all to be equal to 0, right? OK. So now almost all of these parts are good to go for combining, right? Because when I say good to go with combining, we need the same power of x. We need it indexed so that the x looks like the same power. So what do I do with my hands? So uh, we've got x to the n, we've got x to the n, we've got x to the n minus 2. So what can we do to this x to the n minus 2 part to turn it into x to the n? We'll replace every n with what? Yeah, n plus 2. All right, so now let's maybe just write this in the margin. So now that's going to turn that into the sum as n goes from 0 to infinity of n plus 2 times n plus 1 times a n plus 2 times x to the n, right? Does that look right? I replaced every n with n plus 2. And now let's smush all these together into a single sum. So we've got the sum as n goes from 0 up to infinity of... So we've got n plus 2 times n plus 1 times a n plus 2. And then I'm going to like write the x to the n at the very end, right? And just have parentheses around this whole thing. And then next, I'll have minus 2 times n times a n from this term. And then plus 2 times alpha times a n from this term, right? And then finally, all of that is multiplied into x to the n. And we know that that's equal to 0.